Hey guys, this is Sam, and today Apple released the 10th iOS 11 beta to developers, which is the second week in a row that they broke the record for the most betas for a single iOS release in history. In iOS 10, we only got up to beta 8, but last week we saw beta 9, and today we're already seeing iOS 11 beta 10. Who knows if we'll be seeing iOS 11 beta 11 in the future? I doubt it, but then again, we've seen iOS 11 beta 9 and beta 10, so at this point, anything is possible. The past few updates have all been really small, because at this point, Apple isn't working to add new features, or add wallpapers, or emojis, there's a chance that those could come in the Golden Master release, but it looks sort of unlikely at this point. So we're not looking to see huge new features or changes in these later 8 and 9 and 10, and maybe even 11 betas. We're looking to see very small refinements, very small changes inside of iOS 11, just to make everything work a little bit better than it did before. So over on Twitter, two developers shared what they found that was new inside of the iOS 11 file system. It looks like there were some changes to the iTunes and App Store frameworks, uh, and a lot of other stock apps were touched as well. They give examples of strings, nibs, images, just very small changes, nothing that's really going to be noticeable, no huge changes or features to point out. Even though I wish that Apple was still adding features at this point, there is nothing much to talk about. Because if you think about it this way, Apple's September event is happening on September 12th, less than a week now, and they're not going to be adding huge features that they would still have to refine, because iOS 11 will probably be dropping for everybody within the next two to three weeks at the very most. It generally comes out before the new iPhones release, and the new iPhones are said to come out on September 22nd. So we should be seeing the public release for everybody, for you, for me, and everybody in between of iOS 11 sometime before September 22nd, which is really exciting because iOS 11 is such a good update. The battery life so far has been pretty good on iOS 11 beta 9. The performance has been really good. It feels like it's in a really great spot for the 11.0 release. There are a lot of things that could improve, like apps could open a little bit faster. Some animations could go a little bit quicker. In iOS 11 beta 10, for some reason, Apple decided to make the unlock animation a little bit slower. So there are a number of changes that I'd like to see improved throughout the iOS 11 release cycle, but for where it's at right now, for iOS 11.0, there are going to be trade-offs, but that's with every iOS 0.0 release, with iOS 9.0, 10.0, and the same will be true for iOS 11 and likely for software updates in the future. Because this is the first version and Apple has only had a couple of months to truly optimize it and truly test it since it was first introduced, battery life could be a little bit worse than it was in iOS 10, performance could be a little bit worse than it was in iOS 10, and even some new features that were added in iOS 11 might not work as good as features in iOS 10.3, just because iOS 11 is still so new. With that being said, at the cost of a little bit of battery life and a little bit of performance, you're getting a ton of new features, like a reworked control center, reworked notification center, new icons, huge improvements to using iOS 11 with drag and drop on the iPad, AR kit, the list goes on and on. If you guys want to see some previous videos that I've made on iOS 11, I'll be sure to link those up here in the top right hand corner of the screen or down below in the description. This is just such a good update. I'm so happy with the work that Apple has done on iOS 11 so far, and I cannot wait for you guys, the public, to get your hands on this in the very near future. So as always, if any more changes are discovered, I'll be sure to update the blog post linked down below in the description, and if you want to check out the iOS 11 stock wallpaper, there's a link for that down below as well. If you enjoyed watching this, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button down below, and of course, hit subscribe for more videos on iOS 11 and the new iPhones in the future. If you enjoyed watching this, as always, it helps me out if you give it a like, and of course, hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I've been Sam, I hope all of you are doing great, and I will talk to you in my next video.